Hi everyone, here is Damien Levy. Welcome to this series of Forex video. Hi everyone and welcome in this uh, webinar where I will explain to you how to take our binary option signals for Forex. Today we will learn how to take the binary option signal for Forex with how to place the stop loss, target profit and uh, two different methodology to do that. So this methodology is designed to take only the 30 minutes signals which represent 90% of my signal so it should be okay to, to be able to trade for Forex. You will receive in our Telegram channel, the signal alert channel actually in Telegram, we alert when a signal is near. So when we alert and the signal is near, you can take the trade for Forex also and I will explain to you how you, how you do that. An advice before we start, if you choose to trade Forex, then stick to Forex and if you choose to, to trade for binary option, same, focus will help you to succeed. Don't divide your focus into different uh, type of trading. I mean, if you if you go with binary option, stay with binary option. If you go with Forex, go and uh, go totally in one of these fields. But don't divide your attention to one or the other. Uh, for information, it can be useful to learn Forex because in the near future, some country will ban binary option uh, in their rules. So Forex might be the future for us. That's also why I, I adapt my signals to it. So the methodology I show you and my signal are based on the technical analysis, which means if there is a news or fundamental events, it will not work. So better to take outside the news even when you play Forex. If there is a news event, you don't take the signal. But usually we don't advise them. So just follow the Telegram uh, signals alert and uh, take it the way I will show you. So I will show you two type of entry. So the first methodology will be with a pending order. You right click on your chart. For example, I want to take my trade at this level, which is 117.202. It's one of my signal actually for today. I go right click, trading, and new order. Then I go here, I go for a pending order and this will be a buy limit because the price is above the line and it will be a buy. We play a reversal and the price is 117.202 and I place it and my stop loss will depend actually on the price action and you will have to scratch your trade. By security, if you want to place a stop loss, you place 10 pips. So for the pair Euro USD, it will be 1.17, uh, 20, so it's 10, 10, 2. This is 10 pips stop loss. And the target will depend on the market uh, price action. Then you place. So the buy limit is placed and it means automatically when the price will touch my yellow line right here, it will trigger and enter in the trade. And after that, this is your job and this is what I will teach you today. So the second step when you play, when you have placed your penny order is to place an alert. So you go in trading, right click, alert. You double click on it. So I don't go again, but my sound, custom sound that I created is buy euro USD and I will take for 15 minutes because on binary option it's 15 minutes trade. Maximum iteration it will be 1000. The date I put like one week so I'm sure my alert will stay on my chart. And then I click OK. So I place my alert a little before. Like for example in pips it will be 5 pips before my level. So when the price will touch this alert level it will say to me buy euro usd 15 i don't have to be worry about the trigger because it will be triggered automatically but at least i can look at my chart and be ready to to manage my trade correctly in real time so the first thing we will do let's take an example where it touched my line in the past so let's say my level is here and you you have triggered already this level so i modify it 
So see, when you drag on your screen, it will ask you if you want to modify the, the place of your stop loss. So you can modify also the stop loss and the target profit uh, in real time, just doing that. It makes you win time. Actually, when we look at 30 minutes uh, trade for binary option, we look at the 15 minutes chart. And this is what you will do at first. You place your level, you place your pending order if you take the first step. And uh, when it's triggered, you just look at the one minute chart and you look at the price action. So when the price touch it, your order is triggered. And uh, it touches, it touch it two times. And on average, if you want to be sure, you will take five pips profit. So the fact that you place a pending order assure you that your five pips profit are right here, which is quite near from the level, and your entry point is very good. The disadvantage of this entry is you don't wait a candle confirmation and a market confirmation uh, to enter in your trade. And on some times it can be a disadvantage, but the entry is an advantage. So all in all, I think both methodologies that I will show to today are the same. So you're triggered here and you look at the price action. For example, it creates one low here. It breaks a little, but very, very little breaks. It's like even, you know, one pips maximum and you have five, pick, five pips uh, between your entry and your stop loss. Uh, oh, I took 10 by security, but you, the usual, if you aim to take five pips profit, you will aim to put five pips uh, stop loss. But the point of this is, if you see a big candle breaking the level, you will scratch your trade. I mean, if you have um, one touch here, the second touch here, another touch, and something that breaks this low here, which is one pip only below our line, you will scratch your trade. So it means you put at risk only one or two pips, sometimes three pips maximum. But you look at the price action, and if the price action breaks down with a strong candle and breaks the level with a strong candle on a one minute chart, then you will scratch your trade for the Forex. And then, when it will reach five pips, you will put uh, a target profit, an automatic one, that you can set uh, directly on your order. So when you modify your order, you have the possibility to place a take profit. So if it's five pips, it will be 1.1721, and this is five pips. The five pips is the second uh, number here, and you modify. So your take profit, target profit, is placed at five pips exactly from your entry point. And this is a level that is usually, uh, based on probability, a lot of time touch. So it's a good level. The second, so for the entry, we have the penny order. For the stop loss, we put five to 10 pips. And if you see the price action that is against you with big candle going in the opposite direction and breaking the level widely, better to scratch it within two to three pips. So you will lose most of the time, two to three pips maximum, and when you will win, which is on average 70% of the time, you will win five. So, based on your risk and your reward in real time, by following your trade and managing your trade correctly, when you lose, you lose two to three pips maximum, when you win, you win five. It means you need only to have a 40% winning trade to be break even and, and try and begin to make profit. In binary option, it's not the case. When you invest one, you win 75% on average to 80%. So you need to have 56% winning trade. So this is a little better for us in terms of risk and reward. Now, the second thing that we will look at now. So for the take profit, there is another subtlety. Something that you can improve your result, your result drastically. So when it reach your five um, your five pips what you can do is you place two orders the first order will have the five security pips and the second order you can trail your stop a little by little it means your order is triggered at this level 117 222 then when it will reach five five pips one of your order and you divide your size by two you split your trade it means half of your size of trade will win five pips 
whatever happened, and the other half you will trail your stop. It means when the price go on one minute and you look at the end of the each one minute candle. You can go on five minutes and I will explain to you how you do it, but this is the same principle. When this blue candle right here, I will zoom in, when this blue candle right here appears, it breaks the little range here. So it's a good sign in base of, of price action that the price will continue to go up. So when the price go and touch our first order with the target, we let run the target of the other half of our trade and we just put our stop loss for example from minus 5 pips until the break even right now and I think I can't do that so I will just move all the all the trade so you will just select your stop loss and modify a little like this way and when your price action bounce to to this uh, to this level which is the top of the range for example if the price continue to go up you let run your trade until there is a new range so when th when the price is right here you put your stop loss and you move your stop loss a little higher so let's say i will put my stop loss at the last level which is right here as you can see there is a white candle here who rejects so this is a minor uh, resistance so when i put my stop loss here let me take the yellow line because it will be easier for you to understand because when I drag it's not very accurate so let me delete that my blue line is my stop loss so 5 pips from here nearly here when my price go here and make one candle here and break especially with this blue candle the previous range I take my stop loss and I put my stop loss at break even it needs your attention to manage the trade but it can be very very rewarding and I will explain to you again why so when the price co continue to break up it makes from your starting point it made 8 pips remember if you put at risk only 3 pips now you make 8 maybe 9 pips which is 3 times what you invest and you continue to do the same with the trailing stop but you trail it manually so when the price go up you put it for example at the middle of the range and the one minute candle continue to go up and you have a minor pullback a little here so you continue when the price break again you have a little doji here and this doji is broken by this blue candle who close above the, this little blue doji when this happen it means the price want to continue to go up and it goes up for one candle and once again this blue candle also break the previous range and this is a good sign that the price will continue to go up so you just look at the price action candle by candle and you trail your stop so the next point that you will choose is this one because this is a minor resistance that becomes a support so maybe if you want a little below so you are a little at security and you just watch the price and what it will do so the price action is like dodgy uh, little indecision doji 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 again again and no, none of them are really broken in the right one but this doji is broken by a white ra one right here so what happened now you are at this moment 10 pips profit you have two solutions and your your stop loss is my blue line right here you wait to see the next candle what will happen because this is a clear sign that the price want to go down but it's not a very big candle so the, the power is not very strong so you can still wait a little and see what happens to the next candle and the next candle go up and the next candle go up again and the next candle break this little range and continue to go up and this is a very good sign to trail our stop the same at the previous low every, every the previous low every time the price in one minute time frame or five minute time frame make a new low because it works the same you place your stop loss a little below the new low created and that's what happened again so you have a little doji again at the top and at each time you wait the closing price of the one minute candle you don't act before the one minute is not done this is very important so this is a doji and now you have again a power going down but your stop loss is here and here you have already 10 pips profit when you put at risk you know 3 it's the same a very good reward and continue again so this range was creating a new resistance and now it should become a support so if you want when you see this white candle by, by security you can trail a little your stop 
this way at the middle of the range nearly which will which should act like a new support and again you have a white candle but it doesn't trigger and continue to go up so you wait a little the new low to be created and this is a new low and then when this new low is created then you can move at the top of the range which is exactly the support and resistance so if you want a little below to put a little more security and you wait again and what happened at this moment of time you have already 13 pips so you continue and you do the same until you have something a little different so this one create a new low and go up again this doji is broken up so the price continues to go up so you can trade your stop here and this will lock your profit little by little and at least to give you a little example in a simple way without the candlestick let's say my yellow line is your entry point my yellow line at the middle of my screen is my entry point so the price will be in blue for example so the price is that, 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 that and when it touch it trigger automatically with the pending order and your stop loss will be my first blue line here and between this and that you have 5 pips by security but if the price break your level and you see a very big candlestick white candlestick in my chart because white is a bearish one breaking and continue to go down you just scratch your trade within 2 to 3 pips this is your risk maximum will be 5 it's like a protection but if you can scratch it at 3 pips most of the time it can be good and then your price react correctly and go up and maybe create a little range like that so when there is a range like that the traders and the price doesn't take a real decision so you don't know where it will go but it creates like a little resistance right here and you are already in the trade and you just wait to see a confirmation that the price will break it and then it break it up that's what happened in my chart and when it breaks up your stop loss who was here you will put it at your entry point which is break even right here so now when it has broken this level maybe a little below like a few so by security a little below and it break it and after it continue to go up and it will reverse a little but this reversal is very 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 little so after if it continues to go up again and breaks again this new high which is very important if it breaks this new high and continue to go up now you are in more security and you have two solutions the first is to place your stop loss at the top of the range and you can even put it a little below the new low created right here this is the new low and you put your stop loss a little below by security and then my price come back up and will create like for example a new range right here and this range so my stop loss still stay there but since it create a new range I can put my stop loss for example at the middle of my previous zone here because this level will act as a new resistance if it come back here it will reject logically and if it doesn't reject at least I still have profit from this point to my entry point which is here so you have already locked your profit and you, you go on I mean if this little range is broken up and you go on if this little range is broken up I mean if the top of this little range again is broken up you continue and you place your stop again at this moment at the bottom of the range and after some times if it create a new low you put it at the top of the range and after a while if it breaks again up and so on and so forth but little by little it will take you some times you need to manage actively the trade but little by little your trade increase the profit from this until to this one and until finally to this one and you put at risk remember only two pips or three pips which is actually around this one so your risk is between your entry right here and your stop loss 
where you will scratch your trade manually at 2 to 3 pips and your reward will be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times what you invest which is very very rewarding if you see this one and maybe on 5 minute chart this will be a, a resistance or support let me show that yes if you look on the 5 minute chart and you see a previous uh, resistance or support I will put it in yellow you have to be aware of that and just look at what happened and if you know this is a very good uh, support at this time and resistance at this time it might react as a new support and resistance in the future so when you are on one minute you know the one minute will be affected by that and it will tell you what you have to do when this happens so remember our trading stop uh, da, 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 sorry one minute yeah we are here but I was a little lower so our stop is here and this is a new resistance so if you want to be sure this is the next resistance you can take 20 pips actually when you put 2 or 3 at risk it is like 6 times what you invest so yes you will spend some time following this trade but from your entry point so when you enter your trade your trade is triggered here you spend 44 candles of one minute which is 44 minutes but it is like you win the equivalent of five to six winning trade just doing one and managing it little by little tra trailing your stop so this is a very very good example of what you can do and if you see uh, an engulfing candle going this way like this one this white one you can also stop your your trade here if you but you already made 10 10 pips when you risk three it's three times what you invest so that, that's it to settle your size when you will place your order you will select the volume new order and my volume is 0 0.20 so it's a pending order my buy limit will be uh, attack 1.17222 my stop loss will be 5 pips because I reduce it voluntarily so 1 point so now what I do is I put my cursor into the stop loss line and my cursor show me that my stop loss means I will risk 10 uh, dollar for 5 pips it means for this specific volume each pip will worth 2 dollar so if I know I will scratch my trade manually at three and why you do that manually because the minimum that you can place is five pips on stop loss with an automatic pending order like that so when you scratch your trade you will place three so if you want to place for three pips the equivalent of maybe uh, ten dollar you will place uh, two three times 0 0.2 so it's like 0 0.6 so once again trading new order and aside of 0 0.2 I will put 0 0.6 and I put a pending order by limit 1.17222 and my stop loss it's not the real stop loss but it's uh, the one that I must put in security uh, and 17.2 you, you get the principle you adjust your volume to create exactly the loss that you want for 2 to 3 pips for this specific example and the reward will be three times for example four times depending on, on where you will stop your trade so this is the first entry point the first entry point is a pending order which is automatic the alert will alert you when the price is near and you just have to wait that your order will trigger now as we know uh, my level from for the 30 minutes trades are very most of the time pow <coughs> powerful level and most of the time they will reverse a little before and that is where comes the second type of entry the second type of entry is not a pending order it's a manual way to enter your trade so for this one uh, you can take um, a standard account for forex and you will have a little spread it means when you will make uh, your order you will you have two way to do that you can click here with the left click you select your volume so yeah for 0 0.2 for example and you make a buy but you will have to confirm here I don't conceal to trade in one click because it can be 
it can be dangerous sometimes and it can make you uh, create a mistake especially when you enter at market execution so I prefer to have this window and to say my stop loss will be at this specific level so 1.1772 so I, I still have my stop loss in security it's better to put a stop loss even when you enter at market execution you look at where you are and we'll, we will imagine that our price is right here so our price is right here and we will wait a candle confirmation to enter in our trade so what is a candle confirmation? a candle confirmation is to see a doji as the first type of candle confirmation we will, we will talk about the doji so the doji is a, can, is a candlestick with a weak upside and downside let me draw it for you so it's a candlestick with a small body and a weak at the top and a week at the bottom. Or there is different type of doji. We can find uh, it can be a hammer also. So a hammer has a, a week, a shadow in the downside direction only, and you can have a shooting star, which will have the doji at the opposite direction, like that. For me, all those three candles mean indecision in the market. They are not only with themselves. A directional tool they just stay to you the price uh, tac, 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 let me show you in yellow what means this doji let's say this uh, doji is a white one sorry white one yellow with my so it means the price started here the price arrived here and what happened during this candle the price has been up to go all the way up and after it has been able to go all the way down and after it went up again and finish here so this candle is a bearish one it means it goes a little in the downside direction but not very strong the second let's say it's a blue one so it's a blue candle so what happened in this candle the price arrive at the bottom go all the way down has been rejected all the way up to finish exactly here so what mean for me it's indecision the price go up go down doesn't go really where it goes and the last one so let's say this one is a yellow one so it's a bearish one or a white one or a, a red one and same happen so the price arrived at the top of the body it went all the way up and then it went all the way down to finish at the bottom of the candle so this is a very big ind indecision but we are not sure where what will do the price after and this is a professional way of trading so what do we wait we will take for example only a doji a simple doji a yellow so it's a bearish one with a week up and a week down and what we need to have on the second, so the price finished here, so the body of the next candle started here, whatever will happen, we need to have a candle that will break the lower point of the doji or will break the higher point of the doji to say that the market take a decision to go in one specific direction. So this is what we wait. And we wait the candlestick, the next candlestick, for example, we will take the example of a, a bullish one for this specific example the next candle so started here and was all the way up and closed above sorry I am little color blind so maybe the color is not right and so this higher high has been broken and the price finish here so now we know that the market takes the decision to go in the upside direction and this is where you enter at the end of the candlestick so on one minute chart it will be at the end of the candlestick so you wait to see an indecision candle which is a, a doji and you wait to see a candle with a, a good sized body that will break it in one direction and this is what you have exactly for example at this doji right here the blue one is a doji weak up and down and the next one sorry little fine and the next one breaks the high so you will enter at the end of this candle you will enter here since you know there is a good support zone here your stop loss should be a little below and once again you will wait to see the price action on one minute what will happen 
and it will define what you will do next. So if you see a clear break of this good support, which is a signal, you will scratch your trade if it's a big white candle, for example, like that. If all goes in what happened in this specific one, you just have a dodgy after dodgy and not a clear decision of the market, it's still in the size. And so you wait, this dodgy, but this dodgy is not broken at the bottom. It's broken at the top but doesn't finish. And this is only here that you have a clear break and the price finish here. So this is a clear indication that the market go up now. So you are still in a trade since, for example, uh, like 15 minutes. So yes, it's 15 minutes to wait. And you wait, so you have the possibility. You just continue and your stop loss is waiting right here. This is a level where you know you have to exit your trade. And uh, by security, you already put a 5 pips, which is since you enter here which is a little below, two pips below, but you know you will scratch your trade if it if a big white candle breaks this level. And after you have the same process than previously. It means you will, let's say, this uh, yellow line become our stop loss. So when the price break up, you put your stop loss at the bottom of the range, which is a very good range here. After when the price continues to go up but doesn't succeed to manage here, you can put at the middle of the range, and at the middle of the range you are break even, you don't lose money anymore. And you continue, sorry, and you continue to trail your stop. So once again, at the top of the range, little by little, when you have the new, when you have this event that continue to go up, you put it here. And after, when it breaks again up, that is where you will trail your stop at the new little low here. And when it continues to this range, you will put it a little below, like here. And again and again, same process. The process for the take profit is the same. You can place two orders at market execution and you divide your volume by two, by two. And to be able to scratch them because when, once you are in a trade, you will need to click here, go to trade, and your trade will be here, running, making, uh, telling you if it makes profit or loss. You just double click on it and you have the possibility to click on close. So maybe I will do it for you right now so you can see it exactly how it works. So you have a live example. So trading, oh, you don't need to go there. Actually, you just click here. So let's say I will make a call, but there is a good resistance here, or whatever. I just minimize my volume and I show you. Tech. I sell by market. So now I am in a trade. And I, I go and I see my trade here. And when I click this cross here, I can close it at any time I want. That's what I do right now. So I don't waste money. But that's the process it works. You need to open your terminal um, window and go into trades to find your trade and to close it manually. Whether you will take it, you will close it manually in profit or in loss. So yeah, so our stop was trading. We know our five minute resistance is right here. Yeah, well, let's put it in in dot, so no doubt. And we just can take profit the same way. At our next resistance on 5 minute chart, or you trade your stop until it goes again, again, again. And then, we have the same here. So let's say, for example, I will zoom out. This is a very good example. We have our level here. Our level is way below. And this is what happened. The price doesn't succeed to reach again. Because now it's a new uptrend and the power is, is starting to gain, uh, gain strain going up. So what you see is the price nearly touch our level but reject before. So if we have a pending order, it will never trigger. But it's a, it's a good opportunity because look at the candlestick. You have this big doji with a big tail on the downside direction. It's a clear uh, reversal most of the time when there is a very big week like that. And a room, an empty room on the left direction. There is no price action right here during the last, um, let me count for you, during the last, during the last 50 candles, no one has been able to reach again this level. So when you see a very big doji with a big week in the downside direction, it's an indecision, yes, 
and you need to wait for the break of the eye but when the break of the eye happen and with this one it's a strong buy so you will buy right here with the candlestick confirmation and same process your stop loss will be below the doji because the doji is a very strong uh, buy for this example so your stop loss will be my yellow line a little below the extreme of the doji and little by little you will trade it you see this doji again if this doji was broken in the downside direction you can put that to break even and maybe you will just finish with zero but you don't lose anything and this doji is broken up so with this blue candle the price continue to go up so when this doji broke up you can put your stop loss here and here since you enter here you already make five pips profit when your risk was around five pips so at least you you put at risk five in this tra specific trade because the stop loss is different you adapt your stop loss to the market uh, behavior and at this point you have uh, six pips profit whatever will happen and the price continue to go up and what happened it creates a little body candle here which is a good sign of support and resistance so it's a weak one but it's a good one so it will be a good place for your stop loss in the next level and you continue and again when this new high with this resistance is broken up with the one minute candle you can trade your stop here and you continue again this level is broken and you trade it here and it's not triggered anymore and we continue again and again now it creates a range so with this range oh sorry I don't know why it did that so sorry so with this range here when this range is broken up your stop loss is still not triggered but when it's breaking up you can put at the bottom of the range the same and after at the top of the range when it will create this new low for example and actually when it creates this big candle going up I would put my my place here so if I zoom out and I look at the profit that I make for this specific trade you entered your trade at this candle right here and you exit if you wait for the trigger of your stop loss 33 pips when you put at risk only five so it is uh, six time and half uh, what you put at risk it's like you win six trades only doing one trade and this way it should have taken to you uh, for example at this point where it triggers one hour so one hour is the, the equivalent of winning six trades only doing one trade properly and most of the time when the trade doesn't go in the in the direction that you expect it trigger your stop loss very easily but it's nearly you know six seven times what you invest so with this kind of ratio of uh, of um, risk reward you can make huge profit on the long run so this is the second type of entry and uh, you can do the same when you enter at market you can split your trade and you put at security five pips profit and when your five pips profit are gone you let run the other one which will make most of the time three time four time five time depending on what you do but since you you trade with five to ten pip stop loss at first it gives you a, a very good reward on your trade so it is attention you have to manage it correctly but when you do so you will make a lot of money on this one this is euro usd so this is one of the most liquid liquid pair but you can also do that in the five minute chart it means you wait for your strong level on the 30 minutes uh, signal that we give which is exactly here for example and you wait the five minute candle to tell you what direction the market will take and if you see a clear direction that says uh, the candle at the end of the candle you wait always the end of the candle on five minutes five minutes will put you a little more pips at risk but it's uh, it's the same because the reward will be uh, proportional I mean you you might uh, obtain a little more reward using the five minute it will be proportional to the time frame that you use so what I conceal again is to scratch your trade with three or five pips maximum and ten pips is really an extreme an extreme point of view yeah the second case that I wanted to show you about candlestick is not um, is without a doji because actually there is some other candlestick type that can replace totally a doji and they mean exactly the same thing my level is right here and you have two candle candlestick with the same big body size one going up and the other one going down 
it means the same thing as the, uh, as the doji. If the, the law is broken of this one and the candlestick succeeds to stay here, you can enter the trade for a put and continue and apply the same trailing stop strategy little by little. Your stop loss will be a little above the last high, so here at first, and as soon as it goes down and create new low, and come back up again, you will trade your stop here, which is already at profit, a little profit, 3 pips, and again to the new low when it goes up, and again to the new low when it goes up, and when it touches the, uh, the next resistance or support on 5 minute time frame, you can take profit, or you can just look at your trade, and if it behaves uh, against you, you just uh, cut your, close the trade in profit anyway with all that. You can switch to 5 minute time frame depending on the on the shape of your chart. This chart, your USD, looks quite good actually. But if you look at, for example, let's find uh, less liquid. But sometimes the chart doesn't look good at all. It has really random candlestick everywhere and... Uh, yeah, like this one. You have little gap between the candlestick and body very uh, chaotic. It's like... Uh, you can't understand this kind of chart. So when you can't understand this kind of chart, you will switch on 5 minutes and you will look at your candlestick confirmation on the 5 minute time frame. That's how you will trade it. Because on 5 minutes you can see it's l way 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 easier to read it. But what you have to do, even if there is no doji, but if there is an, an angle thing candle like this one, this is not really a doji, but this white one is a really angle thing and show you that the power switch from going up to going down. So you, you, when you enter the trade at the end of this candle, you can continue and see, you can make 40, 40 pips on this specific element. So the, the big body candle that breaks, whether the, the high or the low of the candle that touch the level is very important. So the basic is always to follow uh, maybe not the exact level of the signal, but very near to the level, because the levels that I give on the signal are powerful level from one hour, four hour time frame, and so on. So there is an analysis that shows that a lot of order flow is usually taken at this place, and when there is a lot of order flow, this is where we will take a good uh, profit. And on forex, it works exactly the same. So you have to rate the right level, and if you apply that and there is no support and resistance, you will not have a good probability of result. But following the 30 minute signal, or finding your own support and resistance from higher time frame and very strong one, with the techniques that I teach also in my course, you can have this kind of strategy for Forex, and it works really, really well. It will spend, you will spend more time managing your trade with this kind of forex trades than binary option because binary option you just put your trade and you let it go but the reward is really really more important than what you will risk and uh, this can be on the long run our solution to make profit um, if binary option is, is stopped to end about the stop loss i conceal even when you enter at market execution to always put uh, 5 pips or 10 pips stop loss so at least if the market goes against you very fast you have a protection. So never enter a trade without putting already a stop loss. And after, what I conceal is always to scratch your trade if the, if the market goes against you. Since you know you have to win only 40, sometimes only 30% of your trade to make money, if the market don't behave the way you waited, just scratch your trade with a little loss of 2 or 3 pips maximum. Because if the level is very strong, and if there is no news also around, it will not break so much the level and it will go in the opposite direction because a lot of people put their pending order at this level, so it will be quite um, self-fulfilling. So the last principle that I wanted to show you in this uh, in this teaching webinar about Forex was the principle of, for example, if I put my support and resistance on one hour time frame, I would assume that most of the time, so I go for example on one hour time frame most of the time it's more than one hour but you know for this one and I put a support and resistance and not especially for a range but when the price bounces to a resistance or bounces to a support most of the time it will reach uh, the opposite uh, direction and the next level so it means if you trail your stop little by little you can most of the time make uh, halfway maybe 70% of the way to the next uh, support and resistance from the higher time frame like one hour 
and it's already f if you take this trade for this one if you make 70 percent you make 30 pips if you make the whole distance you make 50 pips when you risk only three to five maximum it's like 10 times what you invest it's a good to know how to do that also and most of the time you can see the price go uh, in a channel like that up down up down after him it make a big move up or down and after it will do the same it will make a little channel again and it will do the same way that was the last principle about one hour support and resistance and most of the time the price really reach both of the level uh, quite quite easier and another thing that I wanted to add is people buy when they think the price is low and they sell when they think the price is high so when the price for example touch the bottom this yellow dot line which is my support people a lot of people think this is a good place to buy so the price make a good movement but after it is stopped at the middle because when the price is at the middle people don't know anymore if it's a good place to buy or if it's a good place to sell so as you can see the price range nearly at the middle of our range of support and resistance because the people don't know really uh, if it's a good uh, at this position of the price if it's a good idea to buy or to sell that's why it happened so if you want to make secure profits uh, most of the time if you go at 50 percent of this range of a good support and resistance you will have like 70 80 percent of the time chance to take profit with a winning and you can do that a lot of time i mean if it touch here it touch the, the top for example once twice and every time you make 50 percent of the range twice 50 percent easily this one was not this was broken so but when it breaks again the the level it made 50 percent again so you have one two you have three win and one loss on this specific line and the risk reward is like uh, you win like 25 you win five times what you put at risk if you put five pips for example and you win and you lost one trade of five pips and you win one, two, three trades of 25 pips. So it's like 75 pips winning and only five pips lost. So it's definitely worth it. The goal is to show people how to take our binary option signal because on Forex, you can really make profit out of what we do. And since I don't have materially the time to divide myself to, to adapt every signal to the Forex, this video can really help a lot of people to, to make profit with that. I think I'm finished for this specific lesson. This is the beauty of it. It means you can achieve really three, four times, five times, six times sometimes what you invest, what you put at risk. And if it goes against you, you don't hesitate. If it breaks the level from two pips to three pips and the candle on one minute is clearly showing you that it goes in the downside direction. If you have little dodgy going down, it's not the same. You, you really need to see a candle that breaks clearly the level. But if the candle doesn't go against you with a clear price action level on one minute chart, if the chart is uh, readable correctly, you just keep on following and after you trade your stop little by little uh, and make more profit and secure your profit again and again and again. So it, it's just time. It will take time to stay on one trade and to manage it correctly. But if you do that and you follow to the next low, follow to the next low, follow to the next low, you can really make a lot of profit. And it's definitely worth it because in one hour you can make the equivalent of five winning trade and on binary option in one hour with this kind of level you don't make this kind of profit and sometimes you can have three winning one loss which is the equivalent only of, of two winning trade so on forex on the long run there is really really huge potential if you follow these rules and if you get the, the strategy and practice on your own um, that's it the price action feature and waiting for the candle confirmation is really really something very powerful and reading the price action overall is, is a fundamental and it will always work it's not an indicator it will not uh, change uh, depending on the market uh, condition price action is really the basis for everything so it will remain efficient whenever it will be we are already at the end of the video please like this video if you liked it and comment below if you have any question feel free also to share it on your Facebook Twitter or Google Plus I wish you success with us. Have a nice day.